Good afternoon from Kauffman Stadium where it is school day at the K. Great having all the youngsters here at the ballpark today. The tarp is currently covering the infield. A lot of folks wearing ponchos today. We do anticipate playing ball today. The question will be what time. And here's Brady Singer hoping to chip away at that 8.82 ERA. Yep. Forget about the past. It's all about today. White Sox get Tim Anderson leading off and playing at shortstop still nursing a sprained left knee. And Anderson takes a called third strike on a close pitch. He doesn't like it but it was close enough. And up comes Benintendi. Andrew hitting 256. Benintendi to left field. That's a base hit. Ball took an odd bounce hopping to Olivares and it's a one out single Andrew Vaughn he was one for four without an RBI last night but he still has eight RBIs over his last four back to the middle Massey will take it to the bag and Vaughn grounds into another first inning double play this one to the benefit of Brady Singer and there's a look at Mike Clevenger as he goes to the mound on for the eighth time. Looking for his third win, his ERA below five. So Bobby Witt leads off. Bobby hitting 232. Ball four, a four pitch walk. Bobby Witt is on. So here's Edward Olivares with a runner at second base. There goes Junior to third. The pitch is outside, and he has another stolen base. And he waited till the right handed batter got in there because it's a distraction for the catcher. They have to throw over the, the right handed batter. Another pop up. Shallow left. Benintendi is there. So Clevenger gives up a leadoff walk and two stolen bases and gets three fly ball outs. Ron Dahl here. He has one for 11 in the series. In the air, right field. Well hit. Prado is back. He's at the track and the wall, and that is off the wall back in. Yaz on his way to second, and he has a two out double here in the second inning. That one didn't miss by much. I thought he might have hurt himself when he came around the bag here right here. Looks to me like uh, that hamstring might have bothered him. And yeah James, James Crook, Crook is coming out and he said you know around the bag and looked to me like that's a hamstring. I think you could see it as he came around first base for whatever reason. Hopefully he's going to be OK. But he's going to stay in. So here is Michael Massey who's four for eight in the series. Well, Jose, it's a big ask to have you on right in the middle of the game with a headset on as Massey hits one into the right field corner and it hits the screen for a home run. We, we got to keep him now. Yeah. We can't let him go. <laughs> I'm not a guy that like to take credit. You know? <laughs> the credit go to to the players. Two down. Here's Ben Intendi who singled in the first inning. That's fair down the line. Off the sidewall for Benintendi who is on his way to second base. So a second two out double for the Sox this afternoon. Both base hits the same place. This one on a sinker away. Two base hit. There's a tying run out at second base. Andrew Vaughn with a runner at second base and two down. This is through the left side of the infield. Benintendi around third and he will tie the game. Andrew Vaughn a laser here in the third. He undoubtedly will drive in a hundred this year in excess if he stays healthy enough. Ball four. And Nick Prado coaxes an eight pitch walk. That puts runners on first and second with one out for Michael Garcia. The 2 2. Garcia rips it down the left field line. Base hit bouncing all the way to the fence. Melendez rounds third. He's in to score easily. Now Wilson waves Prado around. Here he comes to the plate. The throw on a fly tag. Try not in time. Prado slides in safely. And Michael Garcia gets all the way to third. An incredible at bat from Michael Garcia. Down to the count. 0 oh 2. Fouling off pitch after pitch. Taking pitch after pitch, and now a line drive double to put the Royals up three to one in the bottom of the fourth. Alberto's out, one away. Brings up Adam Hazley. The pitch. Hazley slices it, shallow left field. Witt Jr. back, reaches out, makes the grab on the run. He took off on a sprint toward the line, angled back toward the corner, and ran it down without too much trouble. Two outs now in the top of the seventh inning. And here comes Lenin Sosa. 1-0 pitch. 
Breaking ball, smack to center field, pretty deep. Jackie Bradley Jr. sprints back, got turned around, recovers, and makes the catch! A backhand grab, knee high, after he spun around back the other way. And Jackie Bradley Jr. shows off not just the instincts, but the savvy. Inning number eight, and Aroldis Chapman comes in to try to protect the Royals' two-run advantage. One down for Benintendi, who works lefty-lefty. Popped up. Junior goes out. Bradley comes in, and Bradley! Jackie Bradley Jr. has put on a defensive clinic today. There's your school day at the K. Two outs, it's Andrew Vaughn. And he lines out into right center for a base hit. Remember Vaughn two years ago with a homer off Chapman in New York. And it is, in fact, Carlos Perez. First pitch swing over second base. It's a single to center. Andrew looking for third, and a bobble from Bradley gets him there without a throw. The Sox have two on and two out in the eighth. And now the go-ahead run coming up, and a guy that can hit one out of the park. Line toward third. That is fair. It's a fair ball down the line. Vaughn is home. Marisnik around third. Throw coming in is late. It is a two-run double with two strikes and two out for Luis Robert Jr. to tie the game. That'll bring up Matt Duffy hitting a robust 340. Duffy gets a base hit into right field. That'll get Prado to third. And Matt Duffy down in the count puts the winning run 90 feet away. Put the Royals in an opportunity to get their first walk off of the season. And what a thrill that would be for Freddie Fermin. White Sox play it with the infield in halfway. And a bunt attempt. The bunt is down. And Fermin wins the game. You can't bring the infield in that far. And school is out. And the Royals win it 4-3. <laughs>